Welcome to the highlights of the penultimate day in the six days of Rotterdam. Four teams are fighting it out at the very top. Strottinger and Maris, Rasmussen and Markov. Kaiser and Terpstra, the defending champions. And the leaders on 250 points. Kennedy Ketela and Jasper de Burst. And so to the opening event of the night, the 100 lap Madison, four sprints. The first one starts at 60 laps and then every 20 laps afterwards, finishing off with 20 points in the bag if you win overall. Of course, you can take points for intermediate sprints here and you can gain laps. Some teams really wanted to make their mark. Lampata and Marcus were two laps down and they really needed to attack hard. But the big attack came from Nicky Terpstra and Ilio Kaiser. Following other teams, they decided they'd just nip off and try and take a lap. And take a lap, they did. With just under halfway to go, the express train was rolling around the Rotterdam circuit. With the top four teams in the GC all looking at each other, there are opportunities for some of the lesser teams. There are teams who've not won an individual event here. And Bartko and Kaltz were one of them. They were trying to lead out for the sprint. But also showing really good form now was Graham Brown of Belkin. In his first ever six day, he was slugging it out with the big German Kaltz for the win. And he used all his road sprinters experience to take that victory. A first victory for Belkin and Theo Boss and Graham Brown. The first real showdown for the big teams came in the team elimination. Remember, it's the back of the race that counts here. The last team over the line being eliminated each time around. But there was some controversy. With only three teams remaining, Ilio Kaiser was called out on one of the elimination laps and he was not happy. In fact, the whole sprint was run again. Kaiser making a big scene and rightly so because when you see the photo finish, he clearly was not out. So it came down to a sprint between Kaiser and Alex Rasmussen in the end. Rasmussen muscling his way through with a massive turn of speed and taking the points. Vital at this stage of the affair. Any thoughts of a new track record in the two-man time trial went straight out the window. The track temperature was just a little too low. But for once, it wasn't the pairing of Mar Vully and Mar Gay who were going to win. The German pairing of Bartko and Kaltz were absolutely flying. Super form as they go into the final day of this six day. They took the win in the two-man time trial on day five. Day five produced the most thrilling dirty race we've seen so far. Walter Heibrex pacing Michael Morkoff went on a massive charge, gaining nearly a whole lap. Ron Zeilert with Kenny Decatur decided he would go around everybody to match up with them nearly 68 kilometers an hour. Magnificent stuff. But in the end, Michel Varten came so fast from behind, he caught everyone unawares. Look at the two Derny riders. They're absolutely furious. The win goes to Terpstra, the last lap over 70 kilometers an hour. If the first Derny race was good, the second didn't disappoint. The six days of Rotterdam fails to disappoint on all counts. Ron Zeilert was not letting Michel Varten out of his sights. This time, Ilio Kaiser was really up against it. The win was given to Jasper de Burst. Look how close it was. Things were getting extremely tense in the run up to the sprint elimination, which is basically a cross between an elimination race and a scratch race. All the big teams allowed themselves out to give them more time for preparation for the final Madison. And it was Mark Hester and Vivian Brice who took the victory. As on every night, the big draw at the end is the 200 lap Madison. The big chase where only laps count. The smaller teams, as they should do, went attacking in the first half of the race. But under 100 laps, it was Michael Morkoff who was one of the first big teams to launch an attack and he really attacked hard. His aim was to gain a lap and try and move himself up over the next team, which was Kaiser and Terpstra, but they were having nothing of it. In fact, they counter-attacked. They went so hard that they got nearly a lap. 
until Kenny Decatur had decided enough was enough and went after them. The two teams spent the next 25 laps just going hell for leather. In the end, it was all over and brought back. You can't imagine they had any energy left whatsoever. Strutinger and Maurice also had a good go and brought a lap back. They're still in the hunt. There are the big four teams. They will contest it tomorrow. At the end of the big chase, nobody wants to let another team go. Jasper de Burst leading the big four teams round with Jens Maris waiting to pick up from Wim Streutinger at the back. In the end, the big sprint came down to Alex Rasmussen and Nicky Terpstra. And Rasmussen absolutely on flying form. And look how close this was. The width of a tubular tyre gave the Danes victory. New overall leaders, that looked like a team pursuit out there. Yeah, it was uh, quite a hard final, but we know it would be hard to get in the lead uh, for the final day. And uh, yeah, it definitely was a hard, uh, hard final. You guys took the bonus lap. You're now in the overall lead, but are you secure in the lead? Uh, yeah, the bonus lap doesn't mean anything because the three other teams will take it uh, before the final as well. So uh, it will be a, a points battle, but uh, maybe in the final some of the other teams can take a lap or we can take a lap and then uh, that's the only way the laps can count, otherwise it will be on points. Who are the strongest teams? The other three, the Danes, uh, Stuttinger? Yeah, we're, we're fighting already for five days with, uh, with Ilio. I think we both, uh, we both are, the, are the strongest ones, but we definitely should take an eye on the other two teams. Would you prefer to go into the final day with the lead or without the lead? Uh, that's a hard question. Uh, we have the pressure to, to defend it, but uh, we also have we also are comfortable in the lead. So we have a, a point gap of like 10 points maybe. So that's 10 points we have, uh, yeah, we are in front. Kenny has more experience. What is he telling you coming into these yeah. final days? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we talk we talk later, but um, yeah, I, I know what I what I should do now. And uh, tomorrow the sprints in uh, in the fi in the final chase will be very important. So his experience and my speed will uh, will be important. Kenny De Ketela and Jasper de Verst still lead overnight, going into the final day of the six days of Rotterdam with 308 points. Nicky Terpstra and Elio Kaiser, the defending champions, are on one lap. 295 points but look at the Danes Morkov and Rasmussen 292 points just three behind second place Terpstra and Kaiser and don't discount Strötinger and Maurice either the Vlasman team have a lap to make up and they will do that